Hi guys, this is Jimmy from Spin Metro. Uh, many of you guys asked me to show a, a multiplayer session on Retro Pocket 2 by hooking up the Retro Pocket 2 to the TV using the mini HDMI output and also connect to Bluetooth controller to play some multiplayer games. So I'm going to show you that. So I have a uh, Retro Pocket 2 here. And all you need to do is plug in the mini HDMI and let me have the camera focus to this port. Let me see. Okay, so so that's the uh, mini HDMI port. So once you plug it in, my TV is detecting that. So let's switch it over to HDMI 2. And I'm going to enter the Bluetooth setting. And I have Xbox here, Xbox wireless controller, and a 8 bit though SN30 Pro Plus. So let me connect these two devices. So now, this controller is connected, as well as this controller. Okay, now we're going to open an emulator and show you some two-player games. Um, maybe I'll start with... Uh, SNES, go to key gamepad input setup, and uh, thankfully, conveniently for SNES uh, emulator or any of the GBA MU, um, NES.MU, those emulators have auto detect device to set up. So I can now use my controller to navigate to auto detect device to set up and press any key and it'll try to configure everything for you. And of course you can um, go to here and manually change the gamepad, gamepad keys, in-game actions, and it'll list it here. So PlayStation, PlayStation 3 is your Retroid Pocket 2 buttons. And this is now detected as the Xbox wireless controller. So that's that. And I have this. Oh, there you go. So you have to go to the player section and set that player to a different player. So since I set Xbox controller as player one, I'm going to set this as player two. So this is how you set multiple game pads to different players. So I'm jumping up all over the place. Uh, I just noticed that the ratio was wrong. So my TV, I can change the aspect ratio. Uh, you might not see because of the brightness level, but I'm changing the aspect ratios to four by three. There is no way to configure this aspect ratio with within a Retro Pocket app, um, it'll be stretched. Um, if you have a, a monitor that's 16 by 9 and it doesn't have any manual aspect ratio setup. All right, so now this game supports two player. So we'll pick 2P. It's a little difficult uh, trying to play two-player modes by myself. So if I press A here, Bowser will move. And if I press A here, Luigi will move.
Okay, so now we're um, at Mupin64 plus FC. Um, wanted to show you how to set up multiplayer on Mupin64. So go ahead, open that menu, and under profiles, go to controller, and I've already added Xbox. So we'll try to add 8 bit though. Okay, so this is a little tedious, but you have to click that and map physical keys. I won't go too deep into the gameplay, but basically that's how you set up uh, Mupin64. So I'll move on to um, one of those fighting games. So now I'm playing Main 4 Droid. To open the settings menu, I've hid, um, I already hid mo all, the, all the buttons uh, in the overlay. So you're not going to see anything, but it's hidden at the bottom here. So I clicked here and it'll open up this menu. So go to settings and go to input and click external controller. Define keys, player two, and then press up. And I'm going to assign this as player two. So this is a little tedious. But now, um, wait. Okay, now I set. I'm just gonna assign random keys here. So now I'm gonna set player three with 8 bit the controller. Left, right. Coin is usually select. Start. Okay. And we'll set I already set the retro pocket two to player one. Now loaded. I'm pressing select, it's player one, and player two. I, I've set this as my um, key, coin button, and my other coin button, and press start. Or is it A? Yeah. Let me get rid of these guys. Alright, so we have player two. And player one. And we have player three. And if you have another Bluetooth controller or USB controller, you can hook it, hook it up to player 4. So that's basically how you play multiplayer on Retro Pocket 2. It's um, as it's same as any other Android device. So as long as your controllers are USB or Bluetooth, Bluetooth controller, the Android, Android OS will pick it up. Um, 
Let's try playing a fighting game. So I'll be right back. I'm inserting coins and press start. And I'm I'll also press co insert coins. Oh wait, that's not it. This is player two, so let me insert coin and press start. Sorry that video is a little messy. Um, trying to, it's kind of difficult to film this uh, on a living room with the TV and my phone on a mount. So, so there you go. I set my Red Tree Pocket 2 as a player 1. This is acting as a player 1 controller, but you can assign this one to be player 1 and this to be player 2, so you can play uh, without using this as a controller. So, I think that sums up uh, how to play multiplayer games on Android OS on Retro Pocket 2. Um, if you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And leave likes if you like this content and consider subscribing to, to my channel. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.